Okay, so in this video, okay, latching on from the previous one, what we were talking about, um, we have to stop sometimes and really look at what the mind is creating because we let the mind, most of us here, <laughs> alive today, we let the mind run everything in our lives. It runs everything. We do everything that the mind, you know, is creating. So we allow it to boss us around and tell us what to do and what not to do. All those little voices in our head, you know. And sometimes they're great. Sometimes they help us create wonderful things. These thoughts in our head. But how many times are these thoughts repetitive patterns of things that take us to a place that doesn't make us feel good? So they're the thoughts I'm talking about. Those repetitive thoughts that make you feel bad. They take you away from who you really are inside. And so all of these videos, I want you to be clear what these videos are for. All of these videos are for you to look at your behavior, your reactions, and why you do that. Why do you need to behave in a certain way? Why do you need to react to certain things, to certain people, to certain experiences? events, things that happen that can trigger in one second this anger that you need to go off at someone or they trigger this sadness that you just withdraw completely and go into this depression. So that's what these videos are for. It's for this moment right now for you to look at if you did just go off at someone why did you need to do that? And the answer, if you're following all along, the answer is in all the videos. One of them will point you in the direction of why you are doing that. There is something in your childhood, there's something that you've collected along the way. That you've decided about yourself, and you've decided about the world, in your mind created these decisions, these beliefs. And because of that, you carry that into the rest of your life. So these videos are for you to stop and look at yourself, to look at your behavior. And the most important thing that I want you to take away from these videos is that these videos have been created for you so that you can stop, you can stop feeling bad about who you are. And you can start to see who you really are inside that has nothing to do with what you think you are or what you believe that you are. Because many times, in our childhood, there'll be an adult that says something over and over. They repeat words to us or they repeat an action. And it makes us feel in a certain way. It may make us feel that we're not worthy. You know, maybe we're not worthy of love. We're not worthy of someone's attention, of someone's time, for someone to sit with us and just be with us. So we feel that we have no value and we go into life reflecting that. We just keep repeating that pattern because that's what we believe. We believe that we have no value and we're not worthy. Some of us have grown up feeling unwanted by the most simplest of events. They don't have to be complicated events. They don't have to be really complicated experiences for us to make something up about who we are and our place in the world. You know, mine was my sister's birth. I was five. From that moment, I decided I was unwanted by my mum. Unwanted. 
That's a heavy burden for a five-year-old to carry into the rest of her life, unwanted. And also invisible. It was like I was no longer there. All the attention was now on this new baby. I was no longer there, I'd become invisible. Now for many other people, it may not be that they're unwanted. Maybe they felt unlovable because the adults around you didn't know how to love you. They never received love. They don't know what it looks like. They don't know how to give it. They don't know how to show you what you mean to them. They don't know. They've never experienced it themselves. So it's very difficult for a human being to turn around when that's all they've known their whole life. They've been mistreated or they've been treated in a certain way where they haven't been shown any love, any kindness, any affection. For them to turn around and know what it looks like and how to give it, it's very difficult for a person to shift that much. Some do, my dad was one of them. I don't know what the miracle is that goes off in someone's head that makes you, I don't know what it is. Maybe I should ask him one day. But I think it's this feeling of, it made you feel so bad that you just cannot do that to someone else. That is the decision that some people make in their head. What they went through made them feel so bad, so worthless as a human being, or so like they have no value. And they know what that feels like. But they can't inflict that on someone else. They just can't. They don't want to do that to someone else. They want it to stop there. They want that pain to stop there with them. They're the last ones to carry that pain. So I know it can be done. Even, you know, in the worst extreme cases of neglect, pain that's inflicted on a child person can turn into an adult that gives love and only wants to be love and nothing else. I've seen it. So it's in you today to look at your thoughts, to look at what you've created. And can you make a decision for yourself today that what you've been through is something that you could never, ever, ever do to someone else? Let it start with you the love. You never received it. You don't know what it looks like. But you know how it feels. What would it feel like to be given a hug? What would it feel like for someone to smile at you and acknowledge your existence and be happy that you're there? What would it feel like to you? So you have to think of all the things that you would have liked to have received all the things that you imagine love looks like because we all know what it is we all carry it inside of us love is inside you it's never gone anywhere you were born with it with this beautiful little package called love to give to everybody so you have to know how does it look to you how does it look does it look like a hug does it look like a smile or does it look like sitting with someone and giving them your time and your kindness and your encouraging words? What does love look like to you? Imagine it. What would make you feel good if someone did that for you? Then start doing that for someone. There's nothing stopping you from you giving your love today and moving away from that bad place that's been created making the most of this moment you can do that today what does love look like to you tell me in the comments what are things that express love to you a hug a kiss a kiss on the cheek a kiss on the hand I kiss my people everywhere I kiss them on the forehead on the back of the head on the back of the neck I don't care it's a kiss
something that, you know, words, okay, someone can say I love you, but it may not feel like they love you. They're just words. There are so many ways that people can express. Sometimes the words are all that's needed. You know that this person tells you and you can see in their eyes that they really mean it. That makes all the difference. But sometimes I love you is an empty group of words. It's just someone saying it, but there's no meaning. There's no feeling behind it. It's empty. So, what does it look like to you? What can someone do for you that you would feel loved? All right, my darlings, I want you to think about that today because loving, giving our love makes us feel good. It makes us, you know, the human beings we were meant to be. It takes us away from that feeling bad that we've carried our whole lives. So what does love look like to you? Well, you know, if someone did this for you, that's love. That would make you feel loved. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.